Okay guys, I think we're on. Might take a second for it to pop up for you guys. Here we go, here we go. Hey guys, yes. Oh, let me turn my Might phone down. Okay. Happy Thursday, everyone. Happy, happy Thursday. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so glad we get to craft tonight. Let me know when you pop on. Say, hey, hi, what you're up to. If you're new, say, hey, hi, where you're from. That'd be great. <clears throat> I'm going to put that right there. Hopefully I don't knock it over. So it is Thursday, the first Thursday of February. I can't even believe that it's February. That is so crazy to me. I feel like, I feel like July went really slow overall, but then at the same time, I still can't believe it's February. So, but we're going to have fun tonight. I've got, um, we're going to make two cards tonight. So it, hopefully it doesn't go too long like past what it normally does, but we will see. If you guys are watching this on a replay, please say, hey, let me know that you're watching it on replay. If you guys are liking what you see, please thumbs up. Uh, and if you really like it, definitely subscribe because that's super helpful to me. And commenting and all that stuff is very helpful in the YouTube community. So thank you for doing that. I appreciate you guys. Hello, Jordan. I'm glad you're watching. And we're just going to wait till some people come on. It's just barely six o'clock my time right now. So hopefully we'll get started here pretty quick. <clears throat> I'm going to be using um, a product from Concord Ninth. I have not used their turnabout stamps before, so I'm gonna use that for the first time tonight. And it's the Tweet Hearts turnabout, and I'm pretty sure this this is new. I think I think it was just released a few weeks ago, if I'm correct. But I do have everything listed and linked below. Pretty much everything that I use, unless I pull something out that I kind of didn't plan on. And this is a really cute background stamp. It has little birds and flowers and stuff like that and then I have some dies from Spellbinders some birdhouse dies well, I'm gonna use one but that's gonna go with it so that'll be really really cute hi Jean how are you I'm so glad you're here thank you for joining us tonight we're gonna wait a few minutes let more people get on and then we will flip it around Marcy hi Marcy I am so glad you're here tonight. Brianne, I am so glad you're back. This is going to be fun. We're going to have a good, good time. I've got fun cards planned. Lisa, hi, Lisa. Thank you for being here tonight. This is going to be fun. I'm so looking forward to it. And I actually painted my nails. Isn't it so bad? I was a nail tech for 10 years and I never ever paint my nails because I know what a pain it is. <laughs> but they're actually painted very pretty and I have matching toes too, finally. Normally my toes are always painted, but they have not been painted for quite a while. But I do have a pretty pink, so they'll look so much better in the camera tonight. Okay, we're gonna wait a couple more minutes and then I have something fun to share, something I talked about last week. Thank you, thank you, Marcy. Yeah, it's a fun, pretty pink. I'm using the Olive and June manicure stuff, but I did notice I do have a chip right here. And yeah, and I don't even remember what color this is, but yeah, that's what I've been using. I just need to do my own like gel nails so they'll just stay on forever, but it takes a little bit. It takes me about an hour and a half to do my own nails. So maybe one day, <laughs> one day again, I'll do them. Okay, I'm gonna wait one, I'm gonna wait about 30 more seconds and then I'm gonna share with you something fun. How's everyone, how did everyone's week go being that we are at the end of the week? How did everyone's week go? My went, my week went, I feel like I say this every Thursday really fast, but I mean like really fast. I cannot believe that tomorrow is already Friday. 
Brienne, I have not tried the nail strips at all. So are, do you use those, Brienne? And do you like them? I have not used them. I know I've seen those a lot and they have a lot of fun designs, but. <clears throat> While I'm waiting, I will share. <gasps> One of my new shirt designs came in today. So it says, crafty friend. And then I've got all these cute little images. And this is a cute little stamp set. And it has my name created with joy on the top. And then we have ink, an ink pad, a stamp, Copic markers, and cute scissors. So this is one of my new shirts. And I will have these for sale. Now don't feel obligated, but if you want one, I have one. I have two more designs coming. I do have to um, get my store open on my website. I actually didn't expect to get any shirts yet. I thought I had a whole nother week, so I had planned on working on my shop this week. So yeah, crafty friend. I love this so much. Okay. Brand, I do. I love them simply because I always mess my nap waiting on the polish to dry downfall. I'm rough on nails so they don't last very long, but I can put a set on in 10 minutes and they last a week. A week is good. That's very good. I mean, as a nail tech, I hate nail polish because nail polish is just one of those things. Thank you, Marcy. Lisa, Brian. thank you. I know. I love it. Crafty friend and all those cute, cute little images. So the stamp set has some of these little images on it as a stamp set. So I have, I found a great um, graphic artist who, who put these designs together. And like I said, I have two more shirts coming and these are really nice shirts. So they're fitted women's tees, you know, V-neck, but they're like good. I, they sent samples and I like a good soft t-shirt and these are so soft and they fit good other than they are just one size small. So like I normally wear a large, but I'm wearing an extra large and it fits great. So I used to wear a medium until all this Rona stuff. <laughs> then it made you eat, made me eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. Yeah, these are my colors that are on my logo. So I decided to keep, keep within that. Okay, I think we're gonna flip around and we're gonna get started because it's about eight minutes after and I think I think we're gonna get going. Okay, let me flip around. Wait, did I miss something? You said stamp set. <laughs> yes, this is a little cute stamp set right here. That's what this little image is. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have a stamp set yet, but that's what that is. Yeah, I love the colors against the black. I love a good black t-shirt and I love a good white t-shirt. So um, for Shark Week, I'm gonna be coming out with a shirt for Shark Week. That's really gonna be really, really, really cute. So yes, those pounds. I just was like, I don't care. I'm gonna eat a lot of cookies and now I actually care. And because you're in menopause, you know, you gain like twice the weight off half of the amount of food you eat. So yeah, way fun. <laughs> That's why I'm starting to lift weights. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip us around. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Brianne, you're so funny. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we're gonna have fun tonight. I am using Concord and Knight's Tweet Hearts Turnabout Stamp. Now, I've never used any of their Turnabout Stamps. And I think it's really super cute. And I'm pretty sure this is new. I think this is just a few weeks old. So we're going to use it tonight. And then I've got some fun dies. I've used one of these dies before. And then I forgot I had all these other ones from Spellbinders. They have a collection of birdhouses that are so stinking cute. So this is the one I'm going to use tonight. This is actually build a winter birdhouse. So, so there's four of them for all the seasons but I'm going to use this one because I just think this is really super cute I'm not really going to use much of any of that so we're going to use this one tonight but let me show you other ones that they have too sorry let me get this stuff out of the way let me show you
They have this cute one. This is a fall one, which I think is so super cute. And I love that there's lots of different um, shapes in these birdhouses. Then there is the spring birdhouse. I think that is so fun. And then this is of course, oh, see I have stuff on it. This is of course the one that is inside my packaging. That is hilarious. This is one that I've used before. So like a summer one, super cute with like seashells and stuff like that. So they, I have all of these linked just because they're all stinking cute and why not? But I'm gonna use that winter one. And I did a lot of my die cutting ahead of time because that, otherwise we would be here all day long. I know Jean Spellbinders dies are so good. Um, then they have this, the little bird die that can go along. So this is called Sweet Birds on a Branch. Oh, I don't know if I linked this one. I probably did not because I'm special. But I'll, I will try to remember to get that linked. But it's called Sweet Birds on a Branch. So you have all these different little birds. You have a, one that's facing and then you have all these sideways ones and then a flying one and of course, at first I was like, what the heck is this die? It's their feet. I'm glad I figured it out, but it took me a minute. I'm like, what on earth? <laughs> and then some leaves and stuff. So we're gonna use that. And then this, I have this linked. This is just a bunch of flowers and stuff that I already die cut because I wanna add flowers to the birdhouse and stuff. So I'm kind of ahead on the game. So let's get to doing the turnabout. So apparently you have to have a jig and I'm sure some of you guys probably already know this, but on this jig, there's a one, two, three, and four. And this is what our card stock is gonna be stuck to. So we can just turn and turn and turn every time we stamp. So I'm gonna put this in the corner of my Misty. Um, some repositionable tape is gonna go down here. And then I'm going, and then there's little registration marks where your cardstock is going to go. Lisa says, I have all of those. I'll have to try them out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, Lisa. So I'm going to line this up with the registration marks here and stick that down. Okay. In something I just learned last night. So in some of these newer stamps just recently, I guess. I don't know how recent, but fairly recent, I think. It has this little guide that we're, I'm gonna put down first. I think this is right. Tell me if I'm wrong. I watched the video last night because I'm like, I don't know how to use that. I, yes, I think this is right. I'm gonna peel this, the stamp off. It has little sentiments in it too, which is really, really cute. Okay, now I'm gonna line up the stamp with these images on this little guide. So, you know, this takes a lot of skill to line up a stamp. <laughs> okay, I think I did it. We're gonna say yeah. Okay. So then you, oh, you know what I did wrong? Hold on, back up, back up. I have to line, hold on. I have to line this up. Okay, erase what I just told you because I'm not, I'm not telling you the truth. Okay, so we're gonna put the turnabout jig in. Then we're gonna take this thing here. This has this, these lines here. You're gonna line that up with the lines on the jig, okay? This is what I'm supposed to do first. So we're gonna make sure that's nice and lined up. This side is not. Then, then we're gonna line up this stamp. Okay, now I got it. Now I remember correctly. So now we're gonna do this again. Now I'm pressing my luck trying to do this again. Oh my gosh, Joy, get it together. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna line up, all, I'm just starting with this heart in the center and just kind of going off of that. Oh, joy. Did I get it? Oh, 
Okay. I think I got it. All right, now we do this. Put my jig back in there. Now I'm gonna remove this guide off of the stamp. And now I can put my cardstock in. This is when you would now put the removable adhesive, the tape runner adhesive on there. Line that up. Okay, okay, we got it. I've been obsessed with bird and birdhouses since seeing all of the cards with honeybees newer set. I haven't even considered spellbinders yet, but how adorable. Yes. I have three turnabouts, but failed my first attempt and haven't tried since. They make it look so easy. I'm here for the moral support though. Well, we'll see. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Otherwise we'll just be making birdhouse cards and that's it. Okay. I'm actually going to put down a magnet just because I just know I'm gonna have to stamp things more than once. Okay, so actually what I think, so my first background, I'm going to do these three colors and then I'm gonna do a gold embossing. So I've got Surf, Seafoam, and Ocean. These are Simon Says Stamps Positively Saturated Ink. So we're gonna go with that. But I think first I'm gonna do the gold embossing. And I'm gonna make this real quick. I'm gonna sprinkle, sprinkle, ooh, a lot. And then I'm gonna just use my paintbrush to spread it around. And then I'm gonna just blow off the excess really quick because that was a lot. No, not on my new shirt. No, no, that's bad. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. I'm going to use, Honeybee Stamp has new clear embossing ink. So we are gonna use that. And we're gonna do some gold embossing. You know, what? I'm gonna turn on my thing right now so it's warming up. And let's get to inking this up. This has such cute little birds and cute little flowers. Give it a nice good press. Kimberly, hi Kimberly. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are doing a turnabout stamp from Concord and Ninth. And this is my first time using theirs. I've used one similar from Taylor Expressions. So, but we will see. Oh, cute, cute. Oh, I'm gonna leave it on. See, I didn't think this through, you guys. Because now it's lined up and now I don't wanna have to move it. Hopefully my fingers crossed that I don't ruin the jig with my heat tool. <laughs> because I'm not taking this card off because I think I won't get it lined up nicely again. Okay, so let's sprinkle. So I would say in the future, do the embossing last because then it won't matter when you take it off of the jig. So that's my first learning experience here. <laughs> but I am going to wipe off the jig so I don't heat emboss that. Okay. Wipe it off over here. I don't know if I dare risk it, you guys. <laughs> I just don't even know. I'm gonna take it off because I'm too scared. I'd rather have my images not be like perfect, perfect. Okay. I 
I love gold and turquoise. If you've watched me for any length of time, you will know. Especially gold, but that is my favorite, favorite. of that hold on okay so I'm going to put this back into place I'm pretty sure this was right I make sure okay okay so now what you do is now you turn this, because up here in this corner it says one, which I should have said before. When you put your jig in, you're gonna have the number one up here, because that you stamped it the first time. Now you're gonna turn this, and now the two is gonna be up here, and we're gonna stamp it again. I just got something on there. Okay. Let's start, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's start with surf, which is, hold on. Nope, I'm a liar. Let's start with seafoam because that's the lightest color. And while I'm stamping, I'm going to let you guys know I finished, well, we finished, my husband and I finished, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The Wheel of Time and the first season. And it is so good. I mean, really, really, really good. And it kind of closed out some things happening but then you kind of don't know what's going to happen next which I like it didn't leave you on like an awful cliffhanger <gasps> Ooh, how pretty <sighs> isn't that so pretty I'm going to stamp it one more time though uh, so yeah it is really really good and then a few nights ago we started to watch Westworld and I am just, I, I think it's older, and I am not getting into that. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what I just did. <laughs> oh no, because my thing moved. All right, I'm not going to cry. We're just going to start over, but I'm going to do it right the first time. Okay. Oh my gosh, Nakia. Hi, Nakia. I'm so glad you're here. <clears throat> You just happened to be here right when I messed up. So we're going to start this piece over. And I'm going to do the embossing last. Okay, I'm going to line my jig back up. Because we should be fine. I'm going to add more tape here. Okay, here's, here's a good rule. Make sure your uh, jig has not moved. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to start with the colors and then do the embossing last. So again, we're going to go with sea foam. See, this thing moves around. I'm going to put that on there. We're just going to do it again. Oh, it's so pretty but I'm just not going to <laughs> test myself. Okay, so the one was up here. Now I'm gonna move it, flip it around once, and now the two is up here. So we want that, make sure that's in your corner. I'm gonna come in with Surf. Donna, you're, so, you're here, I'm so glad, Donna. How are you this evening? Okay, so now we're gonna stamp it. It's going to start filling in these open spots. For you, those of you who are just joining us, we're using a turnabout stamp from Concord and Ninth. Okay, make sure that's in the corner, Joy. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to turn it one more. So now the three is up in this corner. We're gonna come in with Ocean. And we're gonna give this a stamp. This is gonna be gorgeous, you guys. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Now obviously if I was using like different, different colors of ink, I would um, be cleaning in between. But being that these are just, you know, going from light to dark, I'm not worried about it. Oh Donna, I'm glad you're doing fine. I'm doing fine too. Okay, so it's gonna take one more turn, but then we want to do the heat embossing, but my ink is kind of wet. So I'm gonna let this dry for just a second. So I'm gonna leave it exactly how it is and just kind of move it. And we're gonna do something else really quick because I don't want my embossing powder to stick. That's the reason why I did it first last time, but then it got all messed up. Okay, so let's do this and then we'll get back to that and we'll do the other turnabout too. So I did tons of die cutting for this and I just kind of have them all in, in here and I already glued the flowers together and uh, we've got little birds and stuff in here, but we will do some little ink blending on the birds to match the next card. The next card I'm gonna be using, which one is it? I'm gonna be using this color combination. Let me turn this around. So I'll be using Surf, Cheeky, Peachy, and Lemonade. So that will be the next fun color. Okay, so here is this cute little birdhouse and I die cut it from uh, Lawn Fawn's wood grain cardstock. And I don't even know, okay, there we go. And then I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got, you know, this die has all these fun embossing lines. And that's kind of on here too. So I think it's really, really super, super cute. Then I die cut one from wood grain cardstock because I want to cut the trim off to put the trim on here. Then I'm going to take this little heart and we're going to run this through and oops, it'll have a little heart opening right in the center. So we're going to do that and then We'll trim that off and get that glued and then hopefully by then it'll be dry but if not we'll start kind of ink blending those cute little birds okay i'm gonna run that through my die cut machine really quick <gasps> except for i'm knocking everything over okay does anyone have any fun plans for the weekend you know i like to know what you guys are up to we have zero fun plans for this weekend <laughs> We did have my grandbaby over for last weekend though. And oh my gosh, she was so cute. All right, so now we've got this cute little heart. Die cut out of here. Now I'm noticing on my screen that like, it looks like a square. It's not like my full screen for live. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I do need to get that figured out. Okay. Nikia says, anyone stuck in this lovely snow that's moving our way? We have, we, it snowed a little bit yesterday, um, but we're way far away from you. <laughs> okay, so there's like a little line on here that you can see that I'm just trimming on. I'm gonna trim this off, but it has been so cold here. I mean, like yesterday it was like 20 something, but felt like nine with the wind chill. And I thought, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm in New Hampshire, so I'm getting some tonight. Wow. Well, have fun with that. I am so sorry. Unless you really like the snow, then I guess it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape behind this guy because I think that'd be cute popped up. You're in Northern California, so no snow. Pennsylvania, rain, then some ice. Ew, ice is not fun. Like, I don't mind driving in snow, but if it's icy, I have zero desire for that. That is just very scary to me. All right. Get some foam tape. Let me trim this down some more because it needs to be a little bit thinner. I need like super thin strips. 
I'm ready for more snow here in Charlotte. That's fun. That's fun if you like snow. Like I like it at Christmas time, but then like seriously January 1st, I'm like, let's have summer people. But this is not the case. And I'm pretty sure this is like the coldest January here. because we live in Southern Utah. I am pretty sure this is like the coldest January we've had in quite a few years. It is just so painfully cold. We have like a propane heater out back so when we take the pups out to play, if they want to sit under it, which usually two of them don't. Kirby, he's like a little old man and he um, wants to just sit down and sunbathe, but we hold him up under that heater when we're outside playing. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cute. That gives it like a 3D effect. Cute, cute, cute. All right. I don't like how that looks though. Hold on. Oh, I know what's going on. There's a very skinny piece of foam tape and it's acting funny. Actually, today Kirby is a one year old today. We have all the other babies that are still babies. Well, Gizmo's almost 11 months old, so. But I'm kind of sad because I like having all the just puppies, puppies. What was the t been in Utah? It has, Lisa, it has been 20s and 30s, a lot of 20s. And like the other night, it was like 12 degrees. The other night, like a few weeks ago, it was like seven degrees at night. It was awful. <laughs> it's so cold. And don't let there be a breeze because you just feel like you want to die. Okay, let me grab the little blender brushes. I need turquoise, yellow, where are we at? Turquoise, peachy, yellow, and pink. Let me see if this ink is dry. No, I feel like it's still wet, so we're just gonna wait a minute. It is very, very cold. And this is Southern Utah. Northern Utah seems to get it worse. And yeah, it's, and you know, I'm a girl that grew up in Las Vegas, so it's just awful. It's just plain awful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull out these cute little birds and I have to find their, what is wrong with his face? I am not sure what, I feel very confused about his body and he has two eyeballs in a weird spot. Okay, that's okay, we won't judge. Okay, so we've got some wings here that we need to find. They're in here and all mixed up, let's see. That one goes with you and you. Jean, you're gonna have a new grandbaby this weekend. Oh, congratulations, that is so awesome. Yeah, I, I have my first one and it is way too much fun. Like, she is a little cutie. We hadn't seen her since Christmas, weirdly, even though we only live like 45 minutes apart, but. And she came and, and she's seven months old and so I was a little bit concerned, you know, when they get that age that they're kind of scared of newer people and being that she hadn't seen us in seven months, I was kind of prepared, you know, they, they just kind of get to the point where they just want their mamas and, but she gave me a little cute little hug the way she hugs and smiled and I was so happy. She hugged my husband and it was cute. So we, we loved it. Okay, let me just get these little matching birds to what? No, that's wrong. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, this is you. And this is you and this is you. And then this is this weird one with that guy and I think that guy. And I'm just looking at my dies right here to kind of get it. You, you, and you. And then I think you are, where'd you go? Okay, okay, super, super easy. So I'm gonna just color these guys accordingly. I'm gonna leave the bird itself white, but I'm gonna color 
the, the little uh, the belly and the wings because I think that that would be really cute but really really simple <laughs> that's cute okay so for this cute little bird and then we'll just glue it together and then they'll be done and then hopefully the cards will be ready to finish on the turnabout okay so I'm using sea foam for this little birdie oh gosh he shot across the room okay you go there let's do the next color I am just so into this color combination that I'm doing right here with like pinks and like a peachy color or a coral color yellow and turquoise I'm just so into that right now and I'm not even sure why <laughs> I think it just feels very very pretty I just feel like what is wrong with this bird I don't understand I feel like I, my perspective is off on like what this bird is supposed to look like okay this is cheeky very pretty I love these little small blender brushes do you guys have any small blender brushes do you use them at all I really I really like them I feel like I can do a lot of detailed work all right back gonna go switch my devices so I can see better I <laughs> seem so small on my phone okay Brianne we'll be here <gasps> Marisha you're here Marisha we're so glad to see you we'll hear you talk to you type with you <laughs> whatever you want to call it okay this one I'm using peachy let's see cute cute and then lemonade is the last one. Oh gosh I almost spilled stuff everywhere I'm glad I did all the die cutting because really it'll be so easy. Sally, you're finally here. <laughs> That's so funny. Finally, Sally. Geez, we've been waiting for you. All right. Let's get these little birdies glued. find my tweezers and my glue aha aha okay here we go I love reverse tweezers the first time I used them I just felt real special though because I could not grasp to not squeeze them <laughs> I struggled so much with it it was so funny i feel like you are for the wrong bird you sure are way to go joy we're gonna make it work somehow so this one goes to this guy but what are we gonna do about it we're just gonna go with it if i have to trim it off we will trim it off i can see y'all waited yes we did you don't even know sally we did wait Okay, there's that cute little bird. Let's get this cute little bird. And his little belly. Super cute. I like that all these birds are or kind of you know in a different sh um, shape and stuff shape facing a different way is what I meant to say I like that all right this wing oops Jean do you know what the grandbaby is or is it gonna be a surprise
think that doesn't go with that belly. I'm just, I've got all their little pieces and parts mixed up, but that's okay. They are still cute anyways. Oh, this is the eye. Okay, I get it. I thought these were the eyes. I was tripping out. I was like, what is wrong with this bird? <laughs> okay, I got it figured out, you guys. Let me go like this. No, actually, that was the right one for this bird. Okay. We've got our cute little birdie birds here. I'm gonna put those back in and let's try to do this um, last turnabout. Get that out of the way. Let me clean this off really quick, which I should have done beforehand, but I didn't. I really like that these Positively inks just clean off with water. I think that's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my heat tool again. Sorry if it's loud, I'm gonna let that warm up. Cross your fingers, I don't screw this one up. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn this one more time. This is the fourth time. So the four should be up here at the top. I'm gonna use my um, magnet to keep that in place. Okay. This, let me open up my embossing powder. And then the next turnabout will be a lot simpler because I'm not using embossing powder. So I'm just using Honey Bee Stamps Clear, oops clear embossing ink. Oh my gosh. When I turned it, it's on four. It's slid in the corner. Don't mess it up, Joy. And, oh no, I almost messed it up, you guys. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, powder, powder, and more powder. Jeez Louise, that would have been so bad. And I'm most, I'm definitely over powdering. You do not need to be this crazy but I don't want it sticking to any of this ink if it's not fully dry yet. I'm gonna blow the excess off. Thanks for the encouragement, Marisha. I appreciate it, friend. Okay. Okay, we're all good now. <laughs> nice, good push. I'm going to do it one more time because I just want to make sure I get a nice good image because I'm going to be taking it off of here and I don't want to have to put it back on because that would be horrible. Okay, so that's stamped good. Now let's pray that um, the embossing powder does not stick to what it's not supposed to stick to. Oh, it does. We'll clean it off. What are you going to do? But not bad. Not bad, you guys. This is going to be so pretty, though. All right. I think we're good. Okay, so I have a little spot down here that I'm gonna, that does not belong. <laughs> and a little spot up here. Other than that, I think I am pretty good. As I keep finding more spots. Okay. I think it worked. I love embossing powder, but man, if the situation isn't right, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brianne. I appreciate that. 
<gasps> Jean, it's a surprise. Marcy, me too. Thank you, Nakia. Thank you, Donna. Okay, let's heat this up. Thank you, Sally. All right, here we go. Ouch. Hot. I love watching embossing powder melt, especially gold. <laughs> and it gets so, so pretty. I think we're good okay so that's the first background let's do the next background but let me just wipe this off really quick and then these colors will be so much quicker but this works really nice I think this is a really cute um, little background stamp okay so again, you put your jig in, you're gonna put it, there, there's numbers in the corner, one, two, three, and four, you're gonna make sure your one is up here. This is already lined up on my Misty, so I don't need to put this piece in again to line it up. But if you had to, for you guys that didn't see, if you don't know, there's like an X on this jig, and then there's an X here, and you're gonna line this up. Then you're gonna put your stamp and line it up with the images on here. Close your lid, then you'll remove this part. Now we're going to come in and put some more cardstock down. But I need to trim me another piece because I messed up on that first one. Okay, and then there's little registration marks here that's like A2 sized, so you can fit your A2 sized card panel. Alrighty, I'm gonna start with the yellow. So this one I will have to clean my the ink or the stamp in between. So lemonade. We're gonna go with lemonade. No embossing on this, thank goodness. Let's get this image going. So one of these backgrounds is gonna have the uh Oh, I didn't die cut that. I'll have to die cut that. It's going to have the birdhouse, and then the this design here is going to have um, all a bunch of the little birds that we did the same colors. So, oh, that's so cute. Okay, let me clean this off. Quick scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay, what did you guys have something yummy for dinner? while you're going to tell me, I'm going to turn this once and now the two is up in this corner because I'm going to stamp it the second time. I'm going to come in with cheeky. And give it a good stamp. Ooh, it's so pretty. One more time. I haven't even had dinner yet. I had a couple little snacks from, my husband got the kids dinner and stuff. And so <clears throat> I say kids, they're both adults. <laughs> I have three adult children, it's weird. Um, so I ate some of that, so I'll eat when I'm done. I've been trying to do really good because I've been doing strength training, lifting weights and stuff. And so I'm trying to get a good amount of protein in and I can t all I can tell you is that's been fun. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around one more time to, a th to the three. I'm gonna come in with peachy. But last night I made a delicious, we had, well, it's really hilarious. I made, I made a really, that was weird. I made a really good um, orzo with, garlic and shallots and spinach and it was super super yum 
and <laughs> my husband couldn't stop at the store and grab a rotisserie chicken and I didn't have any chicken defrosted so I literally put chicken patties on top which was really funny but it was really good Ooh, that's so pretty I think I had a little bit of water on my stamp still but that's okay um Nikia said I had sausage links with onions and peppers yum that sounds yum <laughs> All right, one last time around. Make sure I get all the water off. Okay, so I'm gonna spin this one more time and now the four is gonna be up in that top corner. And then I'm gonna come in with seafoam. Here we go. So super cute. It feels very springy. Apparently I need I need some color in my life. Other than dormant grass and white snow. I love that. Okay, so it's done. Let me just clean this off. We've got our backgrounds done and then we can get putting this together. Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit longer. And I swear to you, time flies when we're doing this. No kidding. I cannot believe it's almost seven o'clock. All right, I'm just gonna move that out of the way. But cute, cute. Look at the two backgrounds. I love these. Isn't that pretty? It's so soft and pretty. And then come on, let's be real. This is so super cute. Okay, let's, we've got those sentiments there. I'm gonna start with this card. So here is the cute birdhouse. And I thought about having it off to the side but I do think I actually want to trim this down so when I put this on a card panel there's a little bit of a white frame so I think I'm going to do that yes it does Marcy and yes it does Marcy <laughs> okay so I'm gonna trim a quarter of an inch off of one side and then I'm gonna trim a quarter of an inch I'm gonna do this side off of a bottom side and then that will give us a nice little I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that on the other one but so that will give us a nice little frame like that okay so let's get to putting this guy on here I think he's so cute look at that I kind of want it off to the side and I know it sounds crazy but I'm gonna trim this part off but I think it'll be cute and then there is the sentiments in here have the loveliest day you're the tweetest I think you're the tweetest is going to go with all the birds um, but I like sending you a paper hug so I think we could stamp that and put that somewhere what do you guys think off to the side and I die cut a bunch of flowers and leaves and I did yellow yes always <laughs> thank you Lisa thank you Nakia you guys for watching you guys are so fun I thought yellow would be really pretty with the teal and gold so and I do have a little bird in here this little birdie is facing forward and I just put some tape on the back because I wanted his eyeballs to stay in there which I think a lot of these guys their little eyeballs fell out but we'll we'll figure it out so I am going to let's first get some foam tape I'm gonna pop this guy up because I like dimension. Thank you, Donna. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oops. Anything new going on with you guys? Anything fun going on that you're in your life that you would love to share because I like to cheer everybody on. Craft me a card. Hello from Southern California. Hello, craft me a card. I'm so glad you're here from Southern California. I'm very jealous that you're in Southern California. I would love to be in Southern California. Okay. And I'm glad you're here joining us. Okay. Let me... I'm just going to kind of center it here this way. 
and just a little bit, make sure it's straight. Okay, so I've got foam tape there, and then we can start getting some of these flowers and leaves. Okay, so this wood cardstock is from Cardstock Warehouse. It's um, called White Birch. Then I'm using Lemon Sorbet and Limeade cardstock, card, cardstock for this. Apparently I cannot talk today. You know what, I'm gonna trim that off as much as it breaks my heart, but I'm gonna do that so I know where the flowers need to be. Oh, that'll be cute. Sue, hello from wintry Oklahoma. <laughs> Hello, Sue. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is so fun. Okay. I'm just going to kind of lay out really quick because this is, I kind of need to do that because, you know what, maybe we'll trim this off and look like this flower is coming from behind. Tell me what you think about that. If I trim this big flower off and to where it looks like it's more behind, tucked behind this, let me know what you think about that. Um, oh, that's cute. I've got all these cute. So I kept with the yellow and white theme. Again, because I think that's so... I didn't want to take away from the background. I wanted to add, you know, you know what I mean? Um, I think we're starting with a good layout. Tucked behind. Yes. Okay, Sue. We'll do that. Um, I've got these little guys here. I could put this little guy up here next to that guy. And then we'll tuck this little bird in. Okay. I think I kind of have a gist of it. Let's trim this off. There. I like it. Let's go with that. Okay, Marcy, yes. Let's put this in. That's super cute. Get this. I love these little birdhouses. I just think they are so, so ridiculously darling. I'm gonna pop this up with a little bit of foam tape. I feel like that needs that. I love a card with dimension. Do you guys, do you guys, when you make cards, do you put a lot of dimension on yours? Or do you like more one layer cards? Try not to cover up that heart too much because I think it's really super cute. I feel like this looks like a cute little strawberry. If I have any things that are hanging out like this and I don't cover it, I will trim it off. Oops. Come on, come on. Go in there. There we go. Oh, super cute. I have a hard time not putting dimension on. Always extra post postage, yes, for sure. For sure. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy over here. No. Put this guy up here. I think that makes more sense. Let's add some more leaves. Now these, the leaves that are hanging over, I mean obviously you could leave it if you wanted or you could just trim off that excess. Sometimes I like stuff hanging over so I don't mind it. Sometimes I think some card designs call for it and I think other card designs you kind of need to trim it off. But we'll see, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Okay, let's get this little flower here. Cute, cute. I've got this little guy here. 
You know what? I need more. I need more greenery. Marcy, when I make a flat cart, it doesn't look right. I always end up adding something dimensional. I like dimension. It makes the card not so plain. Yeah, I, when I've, I don't mind a one layer card. I mean, it's rare that I make them. I don't mind a one layer card, but what I find myself doing is popping the sentiment up for dimension. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, can't, then is it really truly a one layer card? Can you say it's almost a one layer card <laughs> when you're putting it in your description? Does that work? <laughs> okay, so just a lot of tucking in leaves. Of course. Oops, Joy, come on. Get it in there. And I don't want to cover up too much of, of course, the um, birdhouse. But I think it's really super cute. I get a little leaf. Tuck that in here, maybe. I'm not going to add any leaves back here because I don't want, I just don't want the green on that. Um, a couple more little pieces of greenery, the greenery. And I'll do both of the sentiments at the same time. Oh, I like that. I hope the birdhouse isn't covered up too much. I think, I think you can tell what it is for the most part. All right, let's tuck in this little bird because he is so cute. Um, oops, come on, leaf, stay in there. Where do we want the bird? I don't even know, you guys. Where should the bird go? Maybe we don't even need the bird on this one. What do you guys think? Yay or nay for the bird? And if yay, where the heck do we put them? I mean, we could cover up that little heart, but I like that little heart there. So what do you guys think? Yes or no to the bird? I could tuck them in like this right here but I almost feel like he's too much no bird okay Sue you say no Let's see what everybody else says I'm thinking you might be right <laughs> to the left of the heart how about on the roof okay let's see could add some foam tape behind him. He could stand up here. Here's on the roof. That could be cute. Okay, to the left of the heart, like right here. I almost feel like here it takes up too much of the little house. Try to fit him in. It's his house. <laughs> All right, little bird, people are voting for you. Maybe we'll just tuck him in. Maybe we'll just tuck him in here. Because I'll put, we'll put little eyes and a little beak on him. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna stick him in right there. Because I think that's kind of the best little spot for him. He's like sitting amongst the flowers. Okay, so there's that one. We're gonna call that one good, and then let's get the other one together. And, and I have a bunch of leftover flowers, so that's perfect. And then we'll do the sentiments, and then we'll be done, you guys. Thanks for hanging in here with me. Then we'll finish with some details, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here is this one. I did forget to die cut the tree branch. So 
So let me do that really quick. So I'm using that off of here. I'm gonna die cut this from this white birch cardstock. Tape that in place. All right. I see that you see that spot you were talking about. Okay. This is really like thin, thin cardstock. That will be cute. But I feel like I need, I almost feel like I need more than one because we've got a few birds. So we could have it coming in from both sides. Yes, I like that very much. Okay, let me get out another piece of that. keep all my little scraps. Do you guys keep all your tiny little, I mean, you know, small scraps? I used to be really bad about that, but I have gotten so much better. It helps that I can put it back into the packaging. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Cute. And this has little, you know, like embossed detail on it. I think is really cute. I do love that about Spellbinder stuff so much. Alrighty then. Okay, so I also die cut some flowers, which I should have ink blended those too, but we can decide. Add another branch. <laughs> Thank you, Nikia. Um, we can decide if we want flowers or not on it. So here's the cute birds. Do you feel like we should have some flower and maybe flowers and some little greenery, but we can keep the flowers white, which I don't mind because then they kind of blend in, you know what I mean? Instead of like taking away from. So I may just have to glue some together, but you know what I mean? What do you guys think? Paper has become expensive and yes, I do keep the scraps. Yes, I have. Everything has come become expensive. It's so Kind of ridiculous. Okay, I do think I'm going to trim this one down too. Because again, I do like that white frame. So I'm going to take a quarter inch off of one side and off of the top. If it was a more of a symmetrical design, I would kind of take it off all sides. But it is not. Okay, so... I'm not even going to try to make these three-dimensional. I mean, I could if I wanted to die cut a lot of these branches, but we don't have time for that. And it's too thin to add foam tape behind, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. But I think here and there, let me just line up the birds first. They do have little feet, but I'm actually not worried about the cute little feet, if I'm being real honest with you. So we can have a bird here. Actually, we can have this bird here this bird here and a couple little birds there I think that's cute what do we think super super cute and then I can add some little flowers with like just a little bit of greenery around and I think that would I think that'll be pretty okay let's glue down these guys here Did anybody answer my question of like, do you guys have anything fun going on? Or any, yeah, like anything like fun life news? <laughs> what did I do with my... Okay. Let's see here. I have, I don't think I have, well, I have fun life news like the shirts, but I don't, and I have other fun stuff coming up. I just can't quite share it yet. So I do have fun things. I just can't share yet. But Shark Week is definitely 
in uh, on a roll I have contacted quite a few companies and I've got quite a few responses back so I'm just I'm waiting for some more but you guys some fun gifts some fun giveaways will be will be happening for Shark Week okay let's Sue says no fun here too cold to do anything I understand that preparing our taxes ooh that's lame Marcy it's only fun if you get a tax return but I think once your kids have grown up you don't get those anymore <laughs> okay I think I'm gonna do foam tape for the birds though because that will give a tad bit of dimension and I know it sounds weird I'll leave that open but I'm gonna put foam tape behind the eyes of the bird so that way I can add uh, some black gel pin I can't wait for sure I cannot wait for shark week Sally I am so excited about it and again I've got fun things going on with that that I can't say yet but oh my gosh I cannot wait last year when I thought of it I started preparing in April so it was like a mad dash but this year so much better when you plan when you start planning in January <laughs> But I do have to say, so far, the companies that are sponsoring are so generous, you guys. When I ask them if they would be willing to, you know, do a giveaway for it, they just hop right on. They are so, so generous. Okay, what? Let's see. We do, but very much. Okay, have some Valentine's Day wax melts to create this weekend. Oh, I saw those, Nakia. I saw those little shaped hearts. Those are so cute. My sister is a huge Shark Week fan, too. That's so fun. I love Shark Week. All right, let's get this little birdie sitting right here. And we're going to get this little bird sitting right here. There is a cute little flying bird. Oh, excuse me. Hold on, I got a tickle. Are you kidding me, Sally? You went diving with sharks off of Maui in November. Are you kidding me? What? What kind of sharks? And you are brave, and I wish I had your guts. I mean, not that I ever want to swim with sharks because I don't, even though I just am so obsessed with them. Okay, craft me a card. Shark Week, last year was my first year of putting on Shark Week. And I get companies that have shark stamp sets and I make a video, however many, last, last year I think I had nine, or I did eight, eight videos, I had nine companies. And they, I have a giveaway every day, so whatever company I use that day, I have a giveaway for that day. Um, so, Yes, it'll be a lot of fun. And I will have some personal giveaways too. But so far, we've got quite a few companies. Um, well, I'm trying to remember who who has said yes. I have Lawn Fawn. I have Studio Katia. Um, who else? Oh my gosh, my brain just stopped working. Heffy Doodle. Trinity Stamps. Um... And there's a, some more from last year, and I'm just, right now, I can't remember. But it is so much fun. And last year I had different shark shirts that I wore every day. And I didn't do the giveaways till the end of Shark Week, but it was fun. And then I just did different cards, tried to do different techniques, showing off these different companies and their stamps. And, oh, I've got Possum Stamps. They're going to, that's a newer company that's going to do it. So we've got quite a few. There's quite a few more that I'm just, my brain is not doing. Okay, let me see what I'm missing here. I think I watch all of Sharknado that week. I do it, I'm gonna be doing it in July. Middle to end, it just depends on how many companies say yes. That means that's how many videos. I've put out, I've asked probably 15 or 16 companies. So we'll see how many, how many go for it. So far, everyone has just been an absolute they're amazing to say yes to it. 
they were reef sharks this time. That is, sounds terrifying. <laughs> Nakia, I would have fainted too. I would have never gotten in the water. Let's be real. Like that would have never have happened. Okay, so I'm going to put a flower here and I'll tuck in some leaves. But I kind of like just the plain white flowers because this background is so colorful. I really don't want to compete with that. You know what I mean? Oh, I've got those little flowers too. Let's see. One more right here and I'll just trim off this excess. See this one I will trim off. I will not have this hang over the edge. Sally, we went to the Bahamas in February of 2020 and did shark dives with Stuart Cox. We had lots of reef and nurse sharks and they fed them. That is, you are an amazing human being. I have zero, zero desire for that. No, I'm gonna do this one. I love the beach, but I don't wanna be out in the ocean. And I have a weird fear of like deep water, like deep, deep water. Growing up in Vegas, we used to always go to Lake Mead, and my parents had a boat, and I was a teenager, and and we just went really far, and I remember looking down and just how dark the water was, and it never really bothered me before, and I didn't really think much of it right then, and then we stopped. It was hot, so we stopped, like, literally out in the middle of the lake and decided to just, you know, jump in the water. And I kid you not, I was mid-air and wanted to Scooby-Doo back into the car, you know, like when Scooby-Doo would jump and he would stop in mid-air and, and turn around and get back in wherever he wanted to be in. That's what I wanted to do. And my dad had thrown in this little tiny square weird floaty thing and it, I wanted to get my whole body on top of it and I could not. I, I don't know what clicked, but I was just like, this water is way too deep. I do not need to be swimming in it. And I got out of it so quick. It was so funny. I mean, it's funny now. It was not funny then. <laughs> I was beyond terrified. Sounds like fun. The biggest sharks we've been underwater with were hammerheads off. What? No. Because I know hammerheads can be not very nice. You are an amazing person. Because I have no desire for that. All right, I'm gonna get a few of these little white flowers kind of around. They have little centers and I do wanna put them on there because I think it looks weird that it doesn't have it. You guys are so much fun to chat with. All right, let's get a few more here. Scooby-Doo in the car. Yeah, I wanted to stop mid-air and like turn around and get back into the boat. It was so, so scary. It was such deep water. I just had never been in deep water like that. Even like a deep pool, I am just not, you know. Number one, it's not rational because I, I know that Jaws does not live in deep water, but I'm pretty sure when I'm by myself in a deep pool that he's gonna come out of the drain, even though logically, <laughs> I know that that cannot be the case. That is really cool, Sally. I mean, it is really cool. After watching Jaws, no sharks for me, no kidding, Donna. I think that's very, very amazing of you that you did that. I think that is just very cool. I wish I had, I wish I wasn't such a big baby. <laughs> But I am a huge baby. I am kind of scared of a lot of things. All right. We're almost there, you guys. Thanks for hanging in with me. This is fun. Okay. A little leaf here. I like, I like the white flowers. Do you guys like the white flowers or do you think I should have done color? I mean, not that I can change it now, but I still would like to know your opinion. <laughs> Stay in there. 
All right, let's get some more of these guys up here. So it's funny, when I was a kid, we had a sailboat and did lots of lake sailing. I didn't want to swim in the lakes. Wondered what was down there. Yeah, you some of those lakes you cannot see. It's so just dark. At the same time, I don't know that I want to see the bottom either because that, that for me, that's just so scary. I don't know what it is about that. I mean, I'm a really good swimmer and I love to swim and I love to be in water, but I just don't want to be in deep, deep water. It's just not my thing. All right, let's put you here. And I'm going to do here. Let's do one more because I like to have an odd number of things. Like it's bothering me that there's four birds and not, I didn't cut five. <laughs> I'm kind of funny that way. Let go. All right, let's tuck in some leaves and then we're going to get the sentiments and put these on some card bases and... We will be good. Like white with those colors. Yeah, I don't like lakes at all. They creep me out, yeah? Some of those lakes are dang creepy. Okay. Okay, so you guys are liking the white flowers. Thank you. I am too. I think it would have been a little too much had I done colored flowers. I die cut so much stuff earlier. It was ridiculous. I was here forever die cutting. <laughs> it's worth it, but... And I always die cut way more than I need. Okay. That one has two. I'm going to do two on this guy. Oh my gosh, that's so super cute. And I like that these other birds kind of blend into the background actually, but you'll, you know, when you look close to them, they kind of pop up. So I think that's kind of fun. All right. Get that stuff out of the way. I am going to trim that stuff off and then we're going to do sentiments and details and we will be done. Thank you guys so much for hanging in. I know this is going a lot longer and I'm sorry. I must be kind of slow tonight too. All right. Let's. I'm going to add these to the card panel. I'm just going to get that part done. Oh, are you serious right now? Hold on, guys. My tape runner <laughs> decided to run out on me. Oh, gosh. All righty. Roxanne, I just arrived to hear about scary lakes. I'm in Florida. We never swim in the lakes. Why? Is there something scary in the lakes there in Florida? Oh, alligators. Duh. My gosh. Ignore me. Ignore me. I know the answer to that. I wouldn't swim in your lakes either. Okay. Make sure I glue this right side up. I've done that before on a card base. Totally glued it wrong side. And I went to try to open it. I'm like, what is going on? I thought I was living in the twilight zone. It was so weird. <laughs> All right. Let's do this one. And Roxanne, I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much, Nakia. I think it turned out super cute. So yeah, so this one I like hanging off the edge, but if you wanted to trim that, you definitely could trim that. And this one, of course, I think, I think it looked better just trimmed off. I feel like that one moved. What is the deal? Try this again, one more time. Okay. Love all of those textures. Me too, Marcy, me too. 
All right, I'm going to put those aside. Let's now I am going to do a black sentiment. That's the wrong thing. I'm going to do a black sentiment because I think that little bit of black will pop really, really nice against all of those colors. So that is my plan. And my magnet broke the other day. It slammed together with the other one and just chipped right off. Almost took my eye out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It really didn't. <laughs> okay, so you're the tweetest, which I think would be really cute on this card. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to line that up here at the bottom. Oh, let go of me. And then, I don't know. Okay, for this card. Have the loveliest day or sending you a little paper hug. Which one do you guys think? Loveliest day or paper hug? there too which one do you guys think how often do you go live this has been fun inspiring I go I try to go live every Thursday that's the plan every Thursday at I say 5 p.m. Pacific time and I'm glad it's inspiring crafting me a card I love that paper hug okay Sue votes for paper hug for this one here that's a cute sentiment that actually will fit like right there or right here I like the light feeling like paper hug spring okay so paper hug paper hug loveliest day thank you so much Donna I'm gonna wait for one more vote and just we'll kind of see what we're gonna go with You guys are so sweet to me. Any more votes? If not, we're gonna, okay, Marcy, paper hug. Paper hug it is, let's go. All right, so I'm just got, I just have this obviously on white card stock. I'm gonna line it up here. I've got the mini Misty. I used to think, why do you need two Misties? I get it. Not that you have to have it, but like if you have your stamps in the other one like I do and I have to clean it out, I don't feel like doing that right now. So having this little second mini Misty, especially for sentiments, is fantasmic. So I'm just going to make sure it's straight here on the bottom. Stamp it down. Let me make sure my lines are straight. They are not. <laughs> All right, let's try it one more time. I'm sorry whoever voted for loveliest day. We got outvoted. I was going for loveliest day too, but we got outvoted. So, but I still think paper hug is super cute. All right, we're gonna try this one more dang time. Okay, we're gonna say yes. I think that's good. So yeah, we're good. You know what, let me grab some black ink. I am so sorry, guys. I didn't think I was gonna use that tonight, but I am. Oh, that's where that went. I was looking for my towel and it was under my chair. Okie doke. Here we go. Scratch, that's really loud. <laughs> and then she whistles. Cute, cute. I love little sentiments like this. <laughs> Craft me a card. Okay, fine, paper hug, right? Just have to go with it, huh? Alrighty, let's take this out. Let's trim this out. And I'm gonna trim this large one first. Okay, there's that one, and then let's trim. Oh, I should have, you know. Scratch wanted loveliest day. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> she was not thrilled that you guys picked something else besides loveliest day. Don't ask me what I did here. 
trying to get it lined up. Nope, you're going to go crooked, are you? That was weird because that was just weird. Normally I do not trim that way, but it worked. All right, let's do this. I am gonna pop the sentiments up with foam tape. I think right there on that card, let me know what you guys think. This one's gonna go right in the center because I didn't plan that, but it works out just fine. <laughs> Here we go. Do you think we need any sequence on these cards? All right, let me make sure this is centered. I think that's good. Oh, I love how that turned out. <gasps> it's so springy. Okay, so paper hugs here. I think here. I just kind of feel like it's even with that, and I think that makes sense to me. So we're just going to go with it. Perfect location. Okay. Thank you, Nakia. Thanks for your vote. Here we go. Make sure that is straight. All right, unless if you add bling, please keep the pastel colors. If I'm gonna add any bling, it would probably be gold because that's what I like, but I almost think we don't need it. Now that I'm looking at it, I think, I just think this one is too cute and I think there's plenty of gold on this. So, okay, Sally, you agree too. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys. I really like that turnabout stamp. I think that is so fun. And then the super cute birdhouse to go with it. And I do like that little pop of black, but if you didn't like that, a gold sentiment would be so pretty on this one or even in yellow that would be really cute too okay and then this one i love it i think these are so fun i love these little pastel springy colors cute cute do i have any like pearls um I don't, I think I just have like dew drops or, but I do have gold pearls. No bling, both cards have their personality. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah, I don't have any like pearl colored pearls, but I have gold, like the gold pearls. But I think these are really, really cute. Okay, I'm gonna flip me around. And for those of you who did not see earlier, I don't think bling is necessary. Okay, awesome. For those of you who did not see earlier, I, hi, we're here. <gasps> Look at my new shirts, crafty front. Now I have three designs coming. Well, now I have two more because this one came today, but crafty friend. And I have all the little crafty things. I have a cute graphic designer that made up these little images. So these will be for sale. They are size up one because and I have medium through extra, extra large, I think. So I have medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. So I wear a large, but this is an extra large and it fits perfect. And um, yeah, but don't feel like you have to buy one. But if you want to, then please do. But I will, I'm hoping to have them next week for sale. I have to add a store to my website. I have no idea how to do that, so I have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so cute crafty friend because aren't we all crafty friends? I love it, so fun. Um, I wanna say thank you guys so much for crafting with me because this was a lot of fun. Thank you for helping me work through some of my mishaps and you guys are always a blast and I appreciate you so very much and have an awesome weekend. 
um, unless anyone has any questions. If, is there anything, questions, anybody have anything? I am here every Thursday, unless I'm not. <laughs> but I really am trying to be here every Thursday. Um, I did notice that on like your Facebook page, I think there's a part that says community and I can leave notes there. If for some reason I'm not gonna be on, I will leave notes in that community spot and you can go see if for some reason I'm not um, gonna be doing a live. But every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you so much, Nakia, I love it. I, like I said, I have two more designs coming and they're super cute and they're gonna be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, okay, well, you guys have a fabulous night, have a fabulous weekend. Jean, I hope that baby, grandbaby comes, that's gonna be so much fun. Stay warm, you guys, eat something yummy while you're in the weather, in the cold weather, and um, yeah, have lots of fun, and I appreciate you, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a good night, bye.